Missing Stephen Clark appeared to be on his way home to the parents suspected of his murder when he was seen by a new witness on the day he vanished 28 years ago. The witness came forward to say that she saw Stephen between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. in Mask by the Sea, North York's, a short distance from the house, on December 28, 1992. Said, I now believe Stephen was still alive, minutes from his home. Obviously one option is that he was on his way home. There is a likelihood that he was, and this is really significant in terms of what happened to Steve in the next Close quote, Stephen's mum, Doris, 81, and dad, Charles, 78, were recently arrested on suspicion of his murder after a review by the Cleveland and North Yorkshire Police Gold Case Unit. They told detectives their disabled son had vanished in Saltburn, a few miles from where they live. Doris described how the then 23-year-old went into a public toilet at 3 p.m., and she never saw him again. She told the mirror, I stood directly in front of the exit, I don't know for how long. I was there for quite a long time, wondering what had happened to him. In my statement to police I said 15 minutes, it might have been longer. He could have gone up the very steep bank or along the beach. I got back and put the kettle on for a cup of coffee for him coming home. Charles went off to a football match. Dead Chief Ins Page said extensive inquiries were carried out at the Clark's £230,000 property this week, including excavation of the back garden. Charles, a former police officer, told the Mirror as he returned home on Wednesday, I am amazed at the search. I have no idea at all why they did it. Close quote. The cold case review has established that Stephen was happy at the time he disappeared, with a newer girlfriend and job interviews lined up. Stephen, who walked with a pronounced limp as a result of a car accident when he was two, was heading in the direction of the ship in when the new witness saw him. DCI Page would like to establish if he went into the pub that day and he again appealed for the writer of a letter delivered to Geesborough Police Station in 1999 to come forward. The clerks told the Mirror they were on police bail until October 12, 